Now what in the carnival is going on here? Wait a minute. That's not a carnival ship. Hold on guys, we're gonna watch this together because I feel like there's gonna be a lot to talk about in this video. Let's just, let's take a look. Some kind of scrap. Oh. Oh, it's getting serious. All right, everyone let's calm down, or, or not. Oh. Wow. Okay, look, yelling stop is not gonna help anything here. It, it, it never does, it, I don't know why people do that. It, it never works. Look at this, there are people off to the side enjoying their coffee at the cafe promenade and it's getting ruined. They're just trying to relax and read a book and talk about their festivities that's taking place on the cruise and they're ruining it. Oh look, look somebody's trying to break it up. It isn't security by the way, make sure you guys pay attention to this, I'm going to point this out in the video. This is actually my first time watching it like you guys too, fully anyway. Oh, wow. Yep, that's definitely a scrap. Look at the look at the couple leaving. Heather, get your things. Let's go. Oh, oh, she's sticking around. Okay, checking on people. Hmm. Wow, how many people are involved in this? Oh, there is security. Like I said we're gonna talk about this. Also notice that, look, look at the security compared to the guy next to him. I talked about this in a previous video, which again, I'll, I'll make sure I, I bring this up again. Oh, look, so there's two security guards, they're walking away. Okay, they cleared that up. Is the fight over? Oh, nope, there's more. Looks like a, a good old-fashioned cat fight, or there's some women involved there. And a, a guy, I think? Look at the guy in the back jumping. Oh man, look, there's so much. First of all, I know, I know I'm laughing and making light of this, but this is a horrible situation and this needs to be addressed. We definitely gotta talk about this in the video. So of course we are going to go over the details in a second here for this ridiculous and childish video. But first of all, I gotta say wow. Second, it does appear that unfortunately the anchor is on the other cruise ship. My how the turntables. Loyal to Royal Squad, Royal Caribbean people that I've been talking about carnival for the past day or two. Well, you got some explaining to do. We'll talk about that in a minute. So apparently this scrap, this scuffle, this fight took place on board Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. It looks like it, the Navigator into some trouble. This ship is currently operating three and four night sailings out of Los Angeles, California and going over to places like Mexico. Now this fight that took place apparently happened a couple days or up to a week ago on deck five near the Cafe Promenade. Now over in the Cafe Promenade, usually people are going there to calm down, read a book, drink some coffee coffee and have a good time in festivities, but they got a little bit more entertainment than they bargained for. Unfortunately, I don't know the context in which why all of this happened. We don't know the reasoning. However, it's a fight at the end of the day and it's as plain as day that something definitely went wrong. Let's just hope it's not a situation like what we saw on board the Carnival Magic where people got into a fight over a threesome. They wanted to gather together and have some harmonious moments together and it didn't work out. I don't know the whole story with that one. And I'm not making fun of Carnival. I believe there is a lesson here that you shouldn't talk about any cruise line or try to make some other cruise line look bad because something happened because I explain all the time that it doesn't matter the cruise line. These things are going to happen. Happen. So I do have a lot that I want to talk about and point out in this particular video starting out with the fact that these people that got into this fight should be banned for life and kicked off as soon as possible no questions asked on this particular ship. Now also this is something I point out all the time when it comes to these fights a lot of people like to point out everything with carnival which again I'll touch on a little bit later because there's a lot more in depth that I want to go into. These fights and these situations that happen it is not a carnival thing and it's not for the most part, a cheap cruise thing. Well, 
Yeah, it is. Let's, let's call it what it is. You know, it's that and the fact that whenever you typically have these shorter operated cruises, there is more of a chance that something could potentially happen, meaning you can get some unruly people because you are getting people that maybe found a cheaper option. You also have people that maybe have never cruised before. They're trying it for the first time. And I don't know, the motion of the ocean just puts them in a bad mood. Who knows? They get seasick and then they get angry. And then we have these situations like this. But it's not just a carnival thing. I've mentioned before that we may see more situations happen on carnival ships because well it's a large cruise line they have the most ships they have smaller ships that are operating in a bunch of smaller areas and going to more destinations so it's only natural that we might see something every now and then but you notice now that something has also happened on a Royal Caribbean ship so it's not just a carnival thing so people that use the excuse in my other video which I just put out a couple days ago and I'll leave in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out saying this is why I'll never cruise with carnival among many other crazy comments what are you going to say about this particular situation are you never going to cruise with royal caribbean anymore are you not going to be loyal to royal also while we're in the middle of getting our jerry springer on i don't know what's going on why is it always something that always comes in twos you buy one you get one free it seems like every time something happens it always happens twice have you guys noticed this pattern maybe it's just me because i do this regularly but it's a little weird but i want to talk about once again the security if you guys noticed in the video and i mentioned this a couple days ago the security is lacking extensively it took some of the guests it took i believe some of the officers that were also there that had to come help break up the scrap and even then they still couldn't do it first of all I will say and I'm sorry to keep picking on carnival I'm not picking on carnival I'm actually picking on both Royal Caribbean and carnival because you guys seem to have this little thing going on and we, we all need to get along as guests and I guess some people can't now, I will say that when it comes to these fights, unless somebody is slapping somebody else's mom, they, this shouldn't be happening, point blank, period. But getting back over to the security, usually the security, and I'm not trying to discriminate, they're usually Filipino guys, and when you look at Americans typically versus the average height versus uh, uh, Filipinos, usually the Filipino men are usually sh like shorter. You get my point, meaning that if you saw in the video, there's some dude that is clearly like six foot tall. If that man had been in the scuffle, there's no way the security guard next to him would have been able to hold him back now for carnival i don't know if you guys need to just clone shack and royal caribbean well who do you have Michael Bailey, Richard Fain, maybe you can clone one of them. Y'all need a good figurehead that's big and tall that you can clone. I know for a fact you guys have the money, and let's let's be 100 here, let's be honest. The cloning device has been created. Make a bunch of shacks and put them in a security guard outfit. You guys ever seen Steel? He was a good protector. But anyway, my, my point is, cruise lines, in my personal opinion, especially in this post-pandemic era, this endemic that we're dealing with, I've just mentioned a couple days ago that people are a lot more antisocial, they're a lot more triggered, and they're a lot more hostile than they honestly have ever been in history's past well i wouldn't say history's past but i mean like right before the pandemic the pandemic has made everybody just a little bit more weird and angry for whatever reason they've lost all control of their social skills and don't know how to act in public i would say the cruise lines maybe it's time to really consider beefing up some of that security it may not have to be for the long term however maybe for the peak season summertime or maybe around christmas time when families are already guaranteed to be fighting with each other maybe it's time for you to level up the security game now I know also that would push a lot of people away because I've seen a lot of comments and I do believe it's valid comments with people stating that if a cruise line has to beef up security then that's the point where it's no longer vacation you might as well be in prison or you might as well be in detention or somewhere where you're gonna be closely watched and not be able to enjoy things how you see fit and on that I 100% agree it's sad and it shouldn't be able to happen anyway Sorry, I meant that it shouldn't have to happen. It should never get to that point to where a vacation needs to have a ton of security around, even though this is something I've seen. Even when I worked at theme parks like Busch Gardens and there was a water park across the street called Adventure Island, when Memorial Day came around or any type of holiday, they always beefed up and hired actual police officers as opposed to just having the park security. And I'm not saying that it's necessary. I wish and hope it doesn't have to come to that. But at this point, when you are seeing something like this consistently, and I wouldn't say this is a consistent thing, however, you're having this, what, twice within the past week or so, cruise lines, I think this is a sign that maybe you need to level up the security. But also just getting back to everything in general, Guys, I will say this one more time. When it comes to Carnival versus Royal Caribbean, and I guess NCL's throwing in there somewhere, uh, you guys, look, every cruise line has their pros and cons. Can we be honest? I'm probably gonna make a dedicated video about this. Is Carnival the worst cruise line out there? Personally, I don't think so. 
could we argue that Carnival is, you know, putting maybe quantity opposed to uh, quality? Yeah, yeah, that's a fair argument. But again, I'll elaborate that on another day. But the people that go out here running around using anything that happens with Carnival, whether it be what happened on the Carnival Freedom, the Carnival Magic, the Carnival Valor, it does not matter. People use this stuff to justify why they're never going to sail on a certain cruise line. They're trying to generalize the whole fleet for a couple situations that happen. Personally, the Carnival Mardi Gras is my favorite ship. I'm excited to go on a transatlantic voyage and the inaugural sailing of the Carnival Celebration later in November. I don't think it's a bad thing. But meanwhile, Royal Caribbean is also my favorite cruise line on a technical level because they have so much variety. But I am going to leave it right here, guys. I could talk on and on and on about this particular situation. Who knows? Like last time, I may make a part two. I found more video footage of the Carnival Magic situation. If you guys want me to do a part two on that one as well, giving that a decent breakdown, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know your thoughts and opinions and feelings on all this. But I will say, don't try to come at me for bashing. Well, you're going to say bashing. I don't call it bashing. Critiquing Carnival and Royal Caribbean fans out there. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. It's a busy day for me. I'm getting ready to head to Miami tomorrow. I'm going on a cruise on the Scarlet Lady for 4th of July, and I'm pretty sure it won't disappoint. Hopefully, we don't have any situations like this. Again, holiday season brings, unfortunately, the best and worst of people. Hit that like button on your way out. Share this video. I highly encourage it. I would greatly appreciate it. Join my Facebook group. Join my Instagram, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. I love you. Take it easy.